Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching right now, if you can share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with the Funhouse Collective. How are you doing today? Doing awesome. Thank you so much. Doing great. Us. Yeah, it's good to have you. Now, you have an interesting band name. You want to start off and tell us how that came to be? Um, sure. So the Funhouse Collective started as, a, uh, as an idea of mine for harder music or a little edgier music that I was doing for my project, Jonathan Christian, um, for really we were looking to do music for film, uh, television, video games, uh, multimedia. And the, I, the idea of it was it's going to be an eclectic mix of people that I've worked with throughout the years, uh, thus the collective. You know, and, and we're all a bit mad at the end of the day, so that's why I wanted to call it the Funhouse Collective. And, and the purpose of the whole project was to work with all these different people throughout the years and um, you, you may have one track that I'm working with an, an amazing guitarist that I've always dreamed of, or I have another track where I'm working with Adrian, who, who does a great job in vocals. Um, and then that was the whole point of, hey, it's a collective of musicians. Um, it, it's not really a, this is it, this is the band type thing, but it's, you know, how we can lend our talent to, to multimedia and, and film and, and composition and all that. So, thus, the collective. Awesome. What, what got you guys into this style of music, post-punk and all that? How'd you get into all that? Adrian, I'll let you go front first. Sure. I mean, um, oh, man. So back in Canada, there used to be this show on CBC Radio, which is like the government broadcaster. And it was called Brave New Waves. It was on from like midnight until about 3 a.m. And throughout high school... Uh, I was introduced to so many uh, amazing bands through that. Um, just the whole gamut of, uh, you know, everything John Peel ever found. And for me, um, I, I'm a product of the 80s. I was a huge Depeche Mode fan growing up. Uh, but I lived in, in Central Jersey for a little bit by you. I lived in Fords. And I went one night to the Melody in New Brunswick where Matt Pinfield was DJing and went across the street to a place called the roxy and that was the first time i heard kmfdm's godlike and that changed my world forever i mean the minute i heard like the, the drum beat with the guitar like, my world was rocked and from there when i discovered sisters of mercy and, and uh mission and i mean geez I, mean, I discovered so many amazing bands uh over the years and i mean that's literally from there I mean, God, how many years ago was WHTG around in the Jersey Shore. I mean, we're talking 30 plus years ago. So I, I've been doing it ever since. And when I came to, I moved to New York City and I was looking to join a band, uh, I found an ad in the Village Voice for a band that specifically mentioned the Bolshoi, Bauhaus, uh, Sisters Cure. Um, uh, and I said, wow, this sounds like the band for me. And that was the New Creatures. And I auditioned for them and I played with them for, gosh, 12, 13, 14 years. Wow. Now, what are you guys currently working on? Well, do you want to give that one away yet, or? Sure. Well, I mean, uh, working... okay, we have uh, we have another cover yeah, coming. Well, we've got a couple of songs working on. We've got one song that's almost ready to go. Just done to do some vocals. We're working on another cover um, on that, and we're trying to get some more tracks out. I mean, really, with what's going on right now in in the current climate, it's a little weird out there. Um, the, the Twilight Zone cover was supposed to be released globally on all the different streaming channels on July 27th, and I just got noticed that it just got released today. It was so, I mean, everything is so far behind at this point. So, you know, I, I think at this point is trying to get stuff out and hopefully people like it and trying to get that name out to the point that when we're ready to move forward with a full album or uh, really push something out, doing a show on the East Coast or doing a show on the West Coast, um, it really is. It really depends on what's going on right now, because you know, we're all in a wonky time. Yeah, I see the uh, the shirt you have, the red party. Well, talk about that and say that's awesome that you're rocking that shirt. New York City <laughs> scene is amazing. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, Sean from the Red Party. He is just uh, he does this this festival called the Murder of Crows. It has just the best dark wave, post punk, uh, gothic bands that are up and coming, it's just, just a fantastic event. Sadly, not happening this year, um, but yeah, we love Sean. 
Yes, I was at that festival last year. Amazing. <laughs> we may have seen each other. He's good people. Now, with the whole quarantine going on, how are you guys handling that? Go ahead. Well, uh, copious amounts of whiskey. Uh, that, that's one thing. <laughs> and, you, you know, to be honest, you know, the Funhouse Collective, it was an idea that I was going with for a really long time. And finally started to move forward with it around December and January. Uh, and then the pandemic hit. And, I mean, I literally shut down. I mean, I, I wasn't working on anything for a couple months. And then finally I said, look, you know, I need to start working on some stuff. And, you know, being trapped at home is getting kind of nuts. Um, and that's when I, I pulled out uh, Twilight Zone. It's, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. I mean, it's an <laughs> awesome track by Golden Earring. Uh, I love the original. I love the 12-inch remix, which had the gratuitously long guitar solo. And it was one that I've always knew how to play on the piano. I was a piano player growing up. And I said, I, I really want to just try this. And, and I was kind of blown away at just how cool it was sounding. And so I reached out to uh, Adrian. You know, he's back there in, uh, up in Maine, and I'm out here in California. I've got my studio. He's got his studio. And I said, dude, what do you think about this? I think you could be really cool on this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, the pandemic now at this point isn't really stopping the creativity because now that's flowing forward. But what to do with it, I think, is the bigger challenge. Now, if people want to find your music, find you online, how do they do that on social media? So you can find us online at, so we are on the Funhouse Collective on Facebook. Uh, it's actually just facebook.com slash Funhouse Collective. Uh, all of the new music will also be available streaming globally on your, your Spotify, your, your iTunes, or wherever you get your streaming fix. Uh, please don't bootleg it, or if you do, please tell your friends and buy some music after. Uh, and it's also on uh, my other band's website uh, for Jonathan Christian, which is jchristianmusic.com. Uh, it's not Christian music. We were just called Jonathan Christian, so that's why we call it J Christian Music, uh, which always has a lot of fun when people look for Christian. <laughs> find but yeah, jchristianmusic.com. You can find it is there as well. And uh, there's be some really good stuff there. And, and there's two killer remixes that I'm really proud of uh, on that as well. Um, Specifically, I'm really, really digging the Bat Boy Slim mix. It's a, from a really good friend of ours who, who did an awesome, awesome job. He, he used to spin under DJ Cruel Britannia, and he did such a bang-up job for, for his mix. And we've got it mixed to a, to a, a really cool anime, Japanese anime video as well. It's, and it works really well. So, I mean, it's been some good stuff. And do you have an idea when the full album might eventually come out? I would like to, you know, I think in normal days, you could say, all right, anywhere from three to six months based on everything that's done. I mean, I've got enough tracks ready to go. But all things considered, you know, hopefully we'll have something done uh, before the end of the year. Uh, I, I think we'll have at least a couple of more tracks, at least put out as singles uh, with a couple of remixes as well. Um, but, you know, let, let's see what happens. Knock on wood at this point. Um, because, you know, it's a jungle out there. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy times. Can you go into some more details of the themes of the record? Some of the more details on it? Uh, um, you know, it's a lot of the music, because I write a lot of the music that, that, that we do for Funhouse Collective, and, and Adrian's really good at bringing in some guitar to it as well, and some good bass. And, uh, you know, a, a lot of it is... If you if you look up the other project, Jonathan Christian, which was very ambient goth, a lot of very lush strings and all of that, all of this was everything that I couldn't do there that has a little bit of a harder edge. Uh, and, and that was the whole point of it. It was taking, you know, the dark, doomy uh, stories of, of, of hopelessness or stories of abandonment and, and giving it a harder edge and giving it an angrier edge as well. Uh, at that point, and trying to maybe hopefully putting a, a light at the end of the tunnel for any of the songs that I write uh, at that point. But, you know, everything is spur of the moment when it comes out, and uh, a lot of the times I'll, I'll have a song, and even, you know, I, I wrote one for Adrian to work on, and I said, dude, here's the whole vision of it. I, you know, the lyrics aren't even done, but here's what I see, here's the story of it. It's about a person who lost a loved one, and here's what they're doing. And they're, they're becoming alcoholic because of it, and then they, they want to kill themselves. So I could tell a whole story 
with a song without even having the lyrics written and then just getting that done uh, or having uh, Adrian putting it, putting some words to it is really where I think the magic happens. Awesome. Well, it was good having you and talking with you and everyone looked them up. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very right. much. Appreciate it.